made some changes to the slides, so <coughs> I just uh, uploaded a new version of the, uh, today's lecture and also la last week's lecture. Okay, for uh, lab access, I was not able to, to come last Wednesday. I was sleeping in bed for a whole week. Okay, uh, for last week's, uh, do you have any questions for, for those uh, scaling, shifting? What do you mean by cross question? Say it's to get the. I mean, it's the last question. question. Yeah, it needs to be between 0 to 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 0 the result pathway is not between 0 and 255. To display the, because the, the uh, pixel values must be between 0 and 255 for display. And if you store that as an image, we mostly just accept the values between 0 and 255. If it's outside that values, those values, we have to Rescale or shift the values into uh, the dynamic range. That's why we, we need this operation to make the dynamic range still in the. Uh, okay, but what do you mean by the minimum maximum? Here, if you wish to calculate the maximum max map to 255, minimum map to zero, you have to follow the minimum map. Any more questions? Um, in the question, it says you need to add a random integer first, right? And then shift and scale. Uh, not random, but you can give, uh, for the lab axis, you can give the, the, the values, the you shift and, uh, and risk it. But uh, in uh, image processing, that value, generally, we, we can't tell exactly, because after image processing, the value may be uh, between minus 200 to 200. So you need uh, a shift and risk it that you need to zero. We don't know. If you wish to know what's the minimum of the map, then you, you have to search all the pixel values to find it. Any more questions? OK, uh, and also for uh, t today's, uh, this week's, uh, on Monday, the lab access asked you to uh, do some exercises um, no, arithmetic and logical operations. Arithmetic is just addition, subtraction, multiplication, division of two images between two images. So you need reading two images side of the, 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 the operations. And uh, uh, you, what you need those is about division. If, if your image has zero value, it can be divided by zero. So in such case, you need to put that uh, pixel value into one or, or something, you can consider that. And also for logical, a bitwise logical operation, you can use not, not. Last week we have a talk, uh, talk about not. If it's a one byte image, so, uh, uh, the values between zero to 255, if you use not operation, it's the same as you use 255 minus the image is uh, like arithmetic uh, operation subtractions, the neg negative uh, values is the same, but uh, uh, the operation you, you apply is different uh, uh, in program. 
and also bitwise pooling operation and or or X or this uh, uh, must be done with two images. And the last one is uh, a region of based image processing. This is very popularly used, but uh, last time we we have talked about this. The region of interest can be given by a rectangular window by you to just use a, a graphic user interface. And also you can use an image like an alpha channel. Use that image as a mask to the whole image to, to, to give the uh, region of interest. So, so you can use different methods to, to do that. Any more questions? This is about uh, uh, lab access. And also for uh, uh, image processing, uh, the, the point processing, I have also made some changes here, especially here. I have added, added the formula to calculate C. Uh, for, for this is the, the, the logarithm function. And uh, we wish to map zero, 0 to 0, 255 to 255. So we can use, just use this formula to solve C. And this is a, a C value if you use that for, for logarithm function here. This is the logarithm function. Yes. And this curve is also uh, very similar to, uh, uh, to, to exponential function here. So if it's gamma is 0 0.4, if gamma is 0 0.4, it's very close to, to uh, and also for power law, if I use power laws, I can uh, use uh, the mapping 0 to 0, 2, 5, to map to 2, 2, 5, find uh, C. And uh, uh, in, in the slide, there is C equal to 1. Also in the textbook, this is not correct. OK, uh, and I also made this here, why it's the gamma correction in the examples of our textbooks. Uh, they use power law uh, instead of logarithm of function. But uh, uh, in, in, in the theory, uh, we generally talk about logarithm function because uh, the power law 0 0.4 is not very similar to logarithm function. That's why the, they use it. Okay, this is a, a gamma correction. Okay, this is a power law and piecewise linear uh, transformation, so it's uh, slicing. And uh, uh, today, I'm going to talk about more about slicing. Uh, slicing up by using the, the uh, bits. And uh, for, for images, every pixel value, if we have uh, more than one, one bit, if we have more than one, if we, we just have one bit for one pixel. One bit for one pixel, we have uh, uh, the, the image just have value zero or one for every pixel. If it's zero or one, it's a binary image. So if it's binary image, it just have one bit. But if it's uh, more than one bit, two bits or three bits, we actually can just slice by the bits. We just take out all the pixel values we can consider that vertically at bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, bit 3, bit 4, bit 5, bit 6, bit 7, if it's 8 bits. And we take out all the bit 7, all the bit 0, we have the slice of all the pixel values. Actually, if we take any bits, for example, if I take bit 3 of all the pixel values, we have a binary image. It's a slice of bit three for all the pixels. So we have, a, if I just take slices of bit planes, plane by plane, for eight bit image, we can have a eight plane bit planes. And also, if you have a red, red, green, blue, 24 bits images, every color, we have eight bits. In such case, we, we can still have 24 bit planes for all the uh, pixel values. Okay, it's uh, 
um, bit plane slicing. Okay, if I have an image like this, I have an image like this, this is uh, just uh, numbers. From uh, this image, you can see the pixel values from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And uh, in, in, in this image, the maximum pixel value is 7, minimum is 0. So we know for this image, we should have uh, 3 bits. So we just, if we just take out the bit 2, the highest bit, we take out and we can form a binary image like this. This is a bit plane of bit 2. We can see this is a, a 4. If we write out all the pixel values, if I write out all the pixel values, it's 4 equals 1, 0, 0, 5 equals to 1, 0, 1, 6 equals to 1, 1, 0, 7 equals to Z, 1, 1, 1. I, I can write out all the all the numbers like this, 3, 2, 1, 0. And then I take out the bit, bit 2. And for, for, for the image value, what is this one? We know that we have bits like this. If I just take out bit 2, I have bit 2 here. And for bit 1, for bit 1, I got 0. And for bit 0, bit 0, I got 0. So it's a for pixel value 4. Next, if it's a pixel value 1, 1 should be 0, 0, 1. And the bit, bit 2 is 0, bit 1 is 0, and bit 0 is 1. So I have a 0, 0, 1 for that pixel value. Okay, let me try another one. 6 here. 6 is this number. Bit 2 is 1. Not that, this one. Okay, bit 2 is 1. Bit 1 is 1. And bit 1 is 1. And bit 0 is 0. Bit zero is zero. So I have bit two, bit one, and bit zero. So I have three bit planes. Okay, this is a uh, uh, to to just display the bit planes of uh, image. Uh, in, in the lab exercise, also, uh, I think uh, next week I will ask you to display the bit planes. Just give one bit to display the bit planes of uh, image. Okay, here is uh, just display the image. So you can see it's uh, uh, eight bit in one byte for every pixel value. And this is the original image, and you can see it's uh, displayed uh, bit 7, bit 6, bit 5, bit uh, 4, bit 3, bit 2, bit 1, bit 0. Uh, this image actually is generated by a computer graphics, it's a fractal image. Because it's generated by computer, so it's uh, zeros, there's zeros, uh, always zero. and. Uh, uh, some things still have some structure there and there's a hole there. But actually for the real image, if you, you use the real image, you can see the, uh, this is the real image, it's a, a, a note, uh, USD note. And you can see this original image is a bit 7, bit 6, uh, uh, five, four, three, two, one, zero. The, uh, the, this image, you can see, see uh, almost see nothing, it's uh, almost uh, all the, uh, noise. Uh, and uh, uh, such, such bit planes, um, you, can, you can see most structures are actually given in 
in the highest bits. So the high, highest bits the case is the most significant uh, information. <coughs> um, for image processing, uh, this is uh, just to give you some uh, some uh, some impression about the, the uh, important the significance of the bits. So it's, uh, Uh, actually, in image compression or image coding, we wish to keep more information about uh, the, uh, the the data, and uh, we can use the most uh, significant bits for better information for image coding. And in image processing and in image coding, we also have some other methods to correlate them better to make more structures in lower bits. It's called uh, Greek code. We will call, or we will talk talk about this, that later. Uh, that would be uh, better than just an ordinary binary code. Any questions? No questions? OK. Uh, because we are talking about, about image processing, and uh, uh, last week we, we talked about point processing to find the, uh, the, the uh, transforms from uh, original pixel value to new pixel value. Point processing is just to use the, uh, every pixel value to find the new pixel value for the processing. And uh, uh, we we talked about the functions, uh, logarithm functions, power law, or piecewise linear, and uh, uh, we can use some uh, some uh, some uh, any functions like uh, uh, a vector, just a vector put into uh, uh, put into. Uh, into a vector uh, like this. Uh, okay, this is uh, uh, the index. Here's the index. The index is zero. Uh, index one, two. Uh, index two, five, five. If the index is like this, and we can just put all the new pixel values into that vector. For example, I just put one. This is ten. This is uh, 11 or, or something more, uh, something we can just put 100 here, whatever is uh, the numbers there. And we can use the index as the input pixel value and the output value at those. So we can just uh, use a vector as a look uh, table. So it's L U T. We can use the lookup table to give the function. We just talk about the logarithm function, power law. All those we can fill the function into vector like this. For example, so I, I if I use logarithm function, this should be mapped to zero. I, I just talked about map zero to zero, two five map to two five five. Okay. If I just use this should be zero or one something or two or something there three, I don't know, you can calculate. And then you can you can have a, a vector like this. We call that lookup table to represent the function. Okay. This lookup table can be found with the function, power law, or logarithm function. We can also use some other methods to fill the lookup table to generate like uh, uh, piecewise linear. We talked about piecewise linear. And also uh, for, for uh, lab access, I don't know if you can use a random number 
for, for, for example, if I have a number from a 0 to 255, and also randomly permute the numbers, shuffle to change the order of the, the numbers. And then I may have uh, this 100, this 101, this uh, uh, 131, or this 200. Here, here maybe some, some uh, 251. Whatever. If we if we just permute the numbers, those numbers are unique in vector. We only have one map to one. This is randomly generated code. And this actually in image processing we use that for data hiding or uh, encryption. So we, we just map some meaningful pixel value into some something with no no meaning. And today, the lecture today I'm I'm going to use Another thing, another tool we used in uh, uh, computer uh, in, in, in image process, this is histogram. We use histogram to generate a vector like this, or not randomly numbered. This is uh, uh, by, by using histogram to generate a lookup table, and we can take that lookup table as a function for the transformation and use that fun, uh, function or use that transformation, we can make the image better, appear better. And we can see more details in that. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, the purpose and the tool we use, the tool we use is histogram. The purpose we use that is, uh, is for uh, histogram equalization or for, for, for better image enhancement. Enhancement. <coughs> Any questions? Okay. For uh, histogram, histogram just to count the uh, number of pixel values. Number of pixel values. For example, if I have pixel value R, K, this pixel value, the histogram of of that image for pixel value RK is the number of the pixel values appear in the image, total number of pixel values. We can just count, for example, this is the image to count how many pixel, pixels in this image for pixel value zero. We only have one. So one is the histogram for pixel value zero in this image. And for pixel value one, I can count one, two, three, four, five. So for histogram of this image, for pixel value one is five. Okay, this is, a, this is a, uh, by definition the histogram. How can we find the histogram? Okay. Histogram uh, is uh, the, the pixel values, the, the, the number of pixels appearing in the image. And if I have uh, such uh, numbers, we have the pixel values for, for all the pixel values. The image I just showed you, this image, we can, we can use uh, this image to find the histogram. I can use the histogram, pixel value zero, pixel value one, pixel value two, pixel value three, pixel four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is the pixel value. And here's the number of the pixel values here in the image. For zero, I have one pixel value. This is one, just one. For one, pixel value one, one, two, three, four, five. I have five pixels. For pixel value two, I have one, two, 
anymore. Okay, I have two pixel values of pixel value two. For pixel value three, I have just one here. So I have just got one pixel for pixel value three. For pixel value four, I have four here, four here, just two pixel values. Okay, for pixel value five, I have one, two, and more, no, two. For pixel value six, one, two, three, four, five, I have five pixels. For pixel value seven, one, two, I have two. So all the pixel values I have counted, so I have, the, I have this. This is called histogram. Histogram of that image. Okay, if I add all the pixel, uh, the, 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 the values in the histogram, this value, 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 this value. If I add all of them, what's that? What's that? It should be 20. It should be 20. Why? Yes, yes. Because I have counted all the pixel number of pixel values. The total size of that image is one, two, three, four, five. And I have five columns, one, two, three, four. I have four rows. Four rows, five columns, so I have 20 pixels totally in that image. 20 pixels, so I have to be, should have a number of pixels should be 20. So that's why it's always this correct 20. If your number is not 20, it means you must have made something wrong, counted incorrectly. Okay? Any questions? This is a histogram. Okay, if I use the total number of pixels, 20, to divide all the histogram values, I use that to divide the 20 by 20, by 20, by 20, by 20. What's that? It's normalized histogram. We call that normalized histogram. Divided by the total number of pixels. It's a normalized histogram. Okay, if I divide by the total number of pixels, then if I add all those Together, this value should be what? Should be one. This should be one. Because it's a, the sum of all the normalized histogram is one. It's just look like something in statistics. It's called probability. So this is a normalized histogram actually gives the probability of the pixel values appearing in the image. Okay, this is a just, I give you this as an example for the histogram and the normalized histogram. The definition is here. This histogram just count the number of pixel values and here's a normalized histogram just divided by the total number of pixel values and or the total number of pixels in the image. And also this is a normalized histogram actually gives the probability of pixel values appearing in the image. Okay. Any questions? This is uh, the concepts or the formula and I'll just give you the example. Okay. 
Let's have a look at some more examples for the real images here. This image, you can see look, that it looks uh, uh, very dark. And if we give the histogram, just count the number of pixel values, we can see it's, uh, there's some pixel values there in the lower and not, not in the higher between 0 to 255. And uh, no pixel values appear in the bright uh, pixels. So we only have uh, some pixels there. So this will uh, make, uh, make the image look dark. And if I have an image like this, so no pixel values in the dark image, I only have some pixel values appear in, in the brighter. So I have an uh, image like this. This is bright, a very bright image. And if I have an image with, with no pixel values in the dark, you know, no pixel values in bright, I only have some pixels in the middle. This uh, image looks green. And uh, they, they contrast a lot. And what we wish the image, all the Im images should be like this. Dark is very dark. Bright is very bright. And pixel values should, dis distribute, uh, should be distributed along Equally, equally along the, the whole dynamic range from 0 to 255. What we wish, and that makes the image look much better. We can see the details in there, and the black is stuck bright and bright. OK. OK, the problem next I wish to solve, how can we convert those images into that? The histogram for that image is, uh, looks like equally distributed. And those histograms are not equally distributed. Oh, the lines, what do you represent that? Each pixel? Sorry? The lines. Um... Lines. Lines. Actually, this gives the number of pixel values appearing in the, in the image. This pixel value appear in, in that, that number of pixel values. This is a very low number of pixel values appearing. No pixel values appearing for those pixel values. Those pixel value, those pixel value, pixel value zero, pixel value two, five. Any more questions? Okay. To this is a equalized, not equalized, not equalized, not equalized. We wish to make them equalized. So the method we call uh, histogram equalization. Okay. If we just find the normalized histogram, normalized histogram, normalized histogram is uh, uh, in statistics we actually uh, it's, uh, it's equivalent to the uh, probability density functions, PDF, probability density of function, and uh, if it's uh, uh, equally distributed, we we should have a histogram, normalized histogram like this. Equalized. But generally, the histogram should be like this. We don't wish to see the histogram like this too, too narrow, especially something in here. We wish to distribute equally such that we can see the details. The contrast between the uh, neighbor pixels would be uh, clear. OK. To, to uh, equalize histogram, we can also use another uh, histogram. We call that cumulative histogram. Cumulative histogram just add the pixel previous uh, 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 
normal isoprene to the, the, the current creation. The, in mathematics, it's just uh, in mathematics, it's just uh, integration. And uh, for graph like this, okay, if I use still use this example here, if I wish to find the cumulative histogram of this, I can use addition. I use this one, the first one is still the same. Next, I use this one plus that one to generate a new value as, uh, as, as 6 or 20. Cumulative. Cumulative is just add all the, all the uh, uh, no last histogram previous ones. And next, I, I use all of them added together. All of them added, added together equals to that one added to that one. So I have a 8 over 20. And the next is 9 over 20. And the next, 11 over 20. And the next, 13 over 20. And the next, that's a 18 over 20, and next 20 over 20. This is, a, this is normalized. This is cumulative. OK, I should have a cumulative histogram like this. If it's cumulative, the last one, the last one, that value should always be one. If this value is not one, you must have made something wrong there, not correct. So, because because I sum all of those is one, so that way should be a sum of all of them. So it's definitely the one. And if I draw the graph of cumulative histogram, if I draw the graph, the graph should like this, starting from zero to means for a plus one should be one here. Sorry, this is it's, it's not the cumulative history. This is a transform. Sorry. Okay, if if I use use the uh, uh, cumulative to give the function of this. This is a normalized histogram here. If I use the uh, uh, cumulative, that one should, if I have something here as one, I should have a function like this. This is a, should be a linear. And this one, possibly, it's a, uh, Something like this. So it should be just going up. This is mono, uh, 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 monotonically increasing function. Do you know that word? Monotonically increasing function. N next pixel is always not less. So, so, uh, it uh, should be uh, greater or equal to the previous piece value. The previous value. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the given form. 
this monotonically increasing function. Uh, okay, it's so for for the cumulative this problem. Okay, it's a cumulative cumulative integration, and also uh, we use that we can we can know it's a, a this is a mathematics uh, uh, proof of that. Uh, we actually don't need to remember us. If you can't understand, if, if you can, that would be better. If you can, just jump. And if you, you wish to use uh, the, the histogram, normalized histogram, accumulating the histogram to find the, the transformation or the function for the histogram, like this, to find the lookup table. The method is summarized as uh, four steps. Okay, it's a it's a four steps method, but it's a, it's it's a not easy to remember. I won't read this step by step. If you later you can uh, you can uh, uh, memorize that based on my example. Here. I won't read that. Okay, the same. Just I I, I have just uh, give the example here. The first histogram, next normalized histogram, and finally the uh, accumulated histogram. And next step, next step, I use the ma maximum pixel value. Maximum pixel value is seven multiplied to seven multiplied to the cumulative. Uh, probabilities and multiply to this uh, 7 over 20. Okay, if I just here's an example here. In this example, it's a uh, three bits per pixel as the pixel values from uh, uh, 0 to 7 and here's the histogram. This is uh, the the pixel values here, so the number of pixel values appear in the, in the image. Okay. And first I use total number of pixel values to divide all the number of pixel values. And this, this is a, a histogram is 10, normalized is 10 over 50, is uh, to find the, the normalized histogram or the probabil probability. And next, to find the cumulative distribution. The cumulative distribution is, uh, if I go back, cumulative is uh, leave that, the first one, just leave it there. Next, use those two added together. Next, use those three added, added together. Next, use four added together. Next, add those, and then next add all those, and next add all those, and finally add all those. Because there's 50 pixel values, so if you add all of them, the last one should be one. It's just the same as I just calculated for the cumulative histogram. It's cumulative, you can see 10 over 50, it's 50 over 50, the last one is always one. It's the cumulative distribution. And the next, multiplied by the maximum pixel value 7, multiplied to, to the cumulative histogram is multiplied by 7, multiplied by 7, everything is multiplied by 7. And uh, after multiplications, you just round the numbers into uh, integer. That, uh, that's uh, the integer. And then, the new integer is uh, the, the values, output values. And if you put those values into the lookup table, this is a lookup table. And this also gives the transformation between the original pixel value and the new pixel values. This mapping would give the uh, histogram equalized. Okay, this is uh, the, the, the method. Okay. Let me finish finish this example here. Still, still the same. I use the maximum pixel value multiplied to the cumulative histogram 
values, cumulative uh, uh, probabilities. Or if we uh, use seven multiplied to six of uh, 42 or 20, seven multiplied to uh, eight, 20, seven, six, three, and seven, seven, 20, and seven, uh, 91, 20, seven, uh, it's, uh, is that right, seven? Okay. When you got those seven multiply that, and you can use rounding to round those numbers into uh, integer. If you round that one into integer, it should be zero. Round that one into integer, is two. Round that one into integer, it should be about three. Round that one into integer, is three. Round one, that one into integer, is about four. That way into integer should be about five, and uh, uh, this is about six, and this is seven. Just round those numbers into integers. And finally, you got the lookup table. This is the input index, this is the output in index. If you remove all the numbers in the middle, and finally, you can write it here, Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and what those ones? And then I wrote, I write the numbers here: zero, two, three, three, zero, two, three, three. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. And I have a lookup table like this. This is uh, the we call that lookup table for the uh, historical equalization of that image, or we call that a uh, uh, transform or mapping or the function for uh, image uh, historical. The same as the uh, example I just show you in the slides. Okay, four steps. Four steps just to use the histogram. Normalized histogram, cumulative uh, uh, normalized histogram, and uh, use the maximum peak value multiply the cumulative, and finally just round it into uh, integer number for the transformation. Any questions? Let's have a 10 minutes break.
MATLAB, right? You said? Yes, yes, you can. So you um, can. when I do the arithmetic operation, let's say I'm doing addition and I add up, mm -hmm. then if I use um, U8, I think it would only map the values between the dynamic range. So I don't think I have to like rescale. You use the U unit. What do you the U in if I use oh, you oh, interest oh, unsigned oh, interest. So yes, the range yes, is automatically going to be from zero to two five five. Should I do that be. or should, should be if because after calculation the pixel value possibly is outside yes. that range. If it's outside, you just take the zero uh, from from uh, actually you just take the lowest five eight bits. All other values may disappear. That's what we want, right? We want to display only the values in the dynamic range. If or so, do we bring everything if so, you may uh, you you will have some problem when when you have uh, some values bigger than two five five. Guess what you will have. For example, if you have a pixel value two five six, what you have? I don't think you will have pixel value zero. Okay. In the in the image, if you display image, it's white, but your image may appear like black. Okay. That that would be a problem. You can you can still do that. You can have a look to just to know what happens. Um, I, I can change because then. because the image processing generally we may have a negative values. We may have some values bigger than two five five after image processing.
Okay, if we apply <coughs> the histogram equalization, the transform uh, uh, to the image, this uh, input, this uh, output, and just use that vector, that's the vector, and this one actually can be taken as the indexes, indexes of we use the indices as the input, we use the vector values as uh, the components, the elements of the vectors as the uh, output. So we have a lookup to all of that. So in, in computer graphics, uh, or in, in, in computers, the image processing, we always use uh, a vector as a lookup table. That lookup table is for the transformation. And uh, use that for transformation, then we can find uh, the histogram, this original histogram, and finally this, uh, this uh, uh, result histogram uh, after, after the transformation. We can see the histogram is uh, a bit more equalized, but not always equalized. We can see something, pixel values are missing. So no pixel values here, so every pixel values appear. But here, so we don't have pixel values there. We don't have pixel values there. Okay, uh, here's another example here, and uh, uh, we can see this is a probability of the input pixel values is the probability, and we can see it's the distribution uh, uh, from the dark regions, not bright regions, uh, pixel values. And here's the cumulative uh, histogram, and, uh, and also uh, cumulative similar to the uh, multiply, they use the maximum value multiply community. So it's just like a basic step. Uh, this is, uh, is taken as the platform. And after, after uh, histogram equalized, you can see the histogram, this is the histogram, this side is the higher, this side is like very low. And after the histogram equalization, you can see it's almost equalized, but we still have some Pixel values missing. This is generally we, we happened after uh, histogram equalization, some pixel values definitely uh, missing because we combined some pixel values uh, into one. And in the, in the transform, in the transform, in the transform, we, we can see always we have two pixel values mapped to one, the same two pixel values mapped to one, two pixel values mapped to one, and sometimes more pixel values mapped to one. So, okay, it's a uh, the, the, the image we saw and also the narrowly distributed pixel values. So uh, we, 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 we take that one as uh, equalized in the histogram uh, distribution. And uh, if we apply 
history of materialization to all those images, we can see the histogram for, for that image becomes like this. A histogram for that image becomes histogram like this. A histogram here is the, for that image, and after equilibration looks like this. So next image uh, look like that. This is to apply to that image. A histogram image, you can see all those images looks uh, clear. The uh, distribution of pixel values is uh, uh, more equalized. Any more questions? Those, those images looks, look better than those images. And that image is uh, uh, similar to that, but it's still a bit, uh, uh, a bit better. Okay, for any more questions for uh, for those historical manipulation? No more questions? Okay. For local en enhancement. And for uh, histogram localization, we just talk about histogram. Histogram is just the uh, uh, number of pixel values appearing in the image for every pixel value. And uh, because it's for uh, all the pixel values, it's, uh, it's for the whole image. Uh, um, to find the histogram for the whole image, we can apply the histogram equalization for the whole image. So it's a, it's a global approach. And uh, sometimes uh, it does not work for all the images. Sometimes we need uh, some local operations. For example, this image here. This image here. You can see if we just apply the histogram equalization for the whole image, we may have a result like this. We may have a result like this. The duck block actually should have some patterns there, and should have some patterns there, but we cannot take, give the results in the duck regions. And also, in the bright regions, you can see after histogram equalization, we, we may have some black dots and white dots in the bright regions. Those appear, but those did not appear. And if we just apply some local equalization by uh, three by three, every three by three box overlapping, move like a window from left to right, from top to bottom, move the window to apply the histogram equalization every block, block by block. And we can have a result like this. We can see some, some patterns there, A, and here's a, 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 a circular pattern. This here should be a square. Here should be some, uh, some uh, rectangles there. So we can see some details there. And also some, uh, some uh, black dots uh, and brighter dots there. So all of them uh, can be made clear. Okay, this is a local uh, histogram equalization. We don't just uh, uh, use uh, one histogram for the whole image. We can apply uh, the uh, histogram equalization to uh, overlap blocks. This is a local equalization method. And also, I have high hidden the slides. Okay, because, uh, because
because the, the histogram is the probability of the pixel values. And uh, the probability, we can use the probability to calculate for further statistics, uh, some, some parameters, uh, like mean. And uh, if we have an a, a image, the mean of the image, generally, we can calculate the, the sum of the whole, the, all the pixel values divided by the number of pixels. But if we have got the histogram, actually, we don't need to uh, uh, go back to the original image for the mean. We can just use the histogram to find the, the mean. And that mean is to use the, the pixel value times the probability and the sum all of them we have the mean. Mathematically, it's the, it's the same. Mathematically, it's the same. And we can also use the histogram or the normalized histogram or the probability to find the moments, the so, so nth moments. Do you know the all moments? Moments. Uh, what's two moments? Second moments. Do you get variance? Second moments. So two is the like uh, values. If I use square root of the second moments, that's uh, that's a uh, standard point. Well, it's two. If if it's two, so we can find uh, the moments and the variance or standard deviation. And also, if I just use the local local histogram, just a block a histogram for the block, and use the, uh, the histogram for the mean of the block, and use the. Uh, 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 the, the, the local or the block histogram for other uh, variables, local variables. And uh, in image processing, those information are very important. Sometimes we use those for uh, image processing. And uh, we can use the standard deviation or, or use the mean for, for image processing. And this is a, a typical example of image here. And this is a, the Y image. There's some, uh, some, something in there, something in there in the dark. We, we cannot see them clearly. But if we use the mean local, locally, use the uh, blocks, this is small blocks there, those have low means. Low means means those areas or those regions are in dark region. And we wish to enhance the dark regions, not bright regions. If we just use one histogram for the whole image, those regions cannot be enhanced. We can't see the details there. We wish to still keep the bright regions the same, to keep them there, and just take out those. What we can do? We can use local means, small blocks. And those what? Those regions we may have bigger means. Bigger means smaller means, and just use the means to segment that image or to give a threshold, take out uh, or give a mass, take out those or take out the duck regions, and just apply the method to the duck. This example here is so use that for for the local means and also use the local means to 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 give the those you can see uh, those uh, take out and uh, take that as the mask and uh, multiply to the image and then enhance the ranges there we can see the result. So this is uh, just a method how we use the local uh, histogram for uh, image enhancement. I won't give you the details about this, but uh, this is giving you an example of how we use the local histogram or local uh, processing method for uh, image processing. Any questions?
Any questions about the point processing? We call it the point processing just to use the pixel values uh, and apply a transform or a lookup table to change the pixel values. Point without referring to the neighbor pixel values. Any more questions for that? Okay, next big topic is still image processing, but it's not point. Or uh, we can take the neighbor pixel values into consideration to find some, some new transformation or new pixel values to represent current pixel values such that the image can be better enhanced or we may extract some information previously it did not exist. For example, we wish to just extract edges. Okay, the operators. After operators, we use you know, so, uh, can be something different, and it can be something you know. So, uh, in, in, in mathematics, we actually can just divide that into two. Categories, why is the linear and why is non-linear? And for linear operations, if the operation is applied to, to, to two images, A is constant multiplied image F plus B, constant B multiplies image G. If we I, I apply H, that operator, to that image, if that that is equivalent to constant A times operator applied to F plus constant B times that operator applies to image G. If that formula exists holds, it's linear. <coughs> this is the definition, linear. Okay, linear operator in uh, image processing, we can have a, a lot such uh, 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 such uh, operators, and uh, in image processing we have uh, uh, filters, uh, convolution, correlation. Those are all all linear, and we also have nonlinear operators in, in uh, image processing, the median filters, or broader uh, broader we call that other statistical filters. Order statistic filters based on the order of the pixel values. We take out the pixel values in the in the window or in the region, and then sort the pixel values. Sort descending order or the ascending order. It doesn't matter. After sorting, and we take out some pixel values in the middle or at, at ends, and apply some mean or something to give the result. So it's order statistic and, uh, and uh, linear filters. This is a box filter, like a box. Like a box, so we call it a box filter. Okay. <coughs> Any questions? Just the concepts, the terms about uh, any processing. Okay. Uh, for special filtering, special filtering is to use some operator applied to the image, this is the image, and here I have a kernel or a window or a filter or a template or, or a mask. We, we still have a mask, a small mask only to the image and multiply the corresponding values to the pixel values and then sum them. And this is the image, and this is the image, this is the mask only to the image and multiply that one to that one, 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 that one to that one. Multiply all the corresponding values and just add it together in the formula. This is the called filtering. I call that filtering. In, in image processing, we also call that convolution or correlation. Actually, convolution and correlation are different. 
we will tell, tell you the difference later. Okay, here is the formula. We call that filtering. Filtering. Here is the filter, the weights. We also call that weights, the mask, the uh, template, the kernel. And this is uh, the image. We use that mask, multiply the corresponding pixel values at some positions. And remember here is the ST for the mask, and X plus S, Y plus T. It's for the actually is for correlation. Okay, this is the formula for. This is a for formula for still here filtering, but the the convolution should be like this: so, so W S T times F X minus S Y minus T. This is a S T, and this is a G. X, Y. Okay, this is a, this actually called convolution. Remember here's a minus, here's minus. We use plus here. We use plus here. It's actually correlation but sometimes they are the same let me tell you why this equals to that and I can rewrite that as sigma sigma w minus size minus t times f x plus s y plus t. Is that right? The equal. Because I write s t here, s t here. ST here, I didn't write the minimum, maximum, it means to sum for all, all the values. For all the values, including all the, all the uh, uh, negative and positive. So I just write it so minus, and here it becomes positive. This is, they are equal. And we can see, compare these two formulas, we can see only thing is here is minus minus and this is the same so if if that one equals to w s t they are the same what case they are equal symmetric if the mask, mask is a symmetric, if the mask is symmetric, they are equal. Okay, that's why mostly, mostly also in the textbooks, a lot, of, a lot of uh, you know so the books, they just take them the same, but actually they are not the same, not exactly the same. This is a convolution. That's correlation. They are the same only when the mask is symmetric. Okay? For this example here, the mask is symmetric. 
all ones. If they are all ones, it's symmetric and uh, it's uh, the it's, uh, uh, correlation and it's also con convolution. And we just call that field chain, whatever it is. Okay. I, if I use that for filtering here, I apply it to that image. This limit looks a bit weird because we have a, a negative values. Okay, I just use that to cover to that image or relate to that and use corresponding pixel uh, values of the mask multiplied to corresponding values of that. This, is, this one multiplied to that, that one multiplied, that one multiplied to that, that one, that one, that one. That one, that one, that one. Okay, this is for correlation. If it's convolution, if it's convolution, we can just symmetrically, symmetrically turn that image, uh, turn that mask symmetrically that way, symmetrically that way, and take the uh, same as the correlation. <coughs> okay, or if it's a correlation, uh, convolution, we use that one multiplied that one, and that one multiplied with that one's not reverse. Okay, it's uh, nothing. You, you can just just try to symmetrically turn that circuit, symmetrically turn that way, symmetrically turn that way for correlation. Okay, and then if I m multiply all the corresponding values to the image values here, and then sum all the sum, all the values together, and here also divided by the sum. This is the example of the box filter. Box filter, we need divided by the sum of, of the mass. The sum of the mass is nine, so we divide by nine. It's the value is seven or nine. We put that value here into the same position there, or central position of the pixel value. Okay, next. I move one pixel forward that region or that window three by three is the mask overlay to the image three by three. Use corresponding pixel value multiply, corresponding value multiply, corresponding, 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 corresponding. multiply and sum together and divided by nine, I have eleven over nine. Okay? Next, from left to right, pixel by pixel move forward, <coughs> and pixel by pixel move forward, and then finish one row, next row, move down one pixel, and still the use mask overlay to that, and move forward, pixel by pixel, Pixel by pixel from left to right, pixel by pixel from uh, top to bottom, and I can calculate for the whole image, and uh, I have the results here. And then uh, if I round the pixel values to integers, I have a value like this. This is the filtering. Any questions? You know around the edge, that you know the edge pixels, because there's only three by three mask, right? Is there anything yeah. that you can do to blur that bit as well? Or do you just leave it like that? For the border? Yeah, the border, yeah. For the border, this example, I just keep the border pixel values the same there, just to give you how to calculate the pixel values in the middle, new pixel values in the middle. But for image processing, for image processing, generally, we can expand by the, the duplicate the pixel value, or just fill zeros, or symmetrically. So that's, a, that's a something we call that padding. OK, here. Because it's zero padding, we just put zeros at the end. Or sometimes we use, uh, uh, we use uh, uh, symmetrically padded. 
For example, if I if I wish to apply the, uh, the, the this mask to the whole image, I can copy the pixel values to for extension to make it big, bigger. This is a three by three, but it needs cover to something there. So we need one more pixel out. So in such case, we can just copy this column there, this row there, and that one is more copy there. So copy the pixels, that is duplication. And also we can use symmetric extension. Symmetric extension means I just use this after that and copy that pixel values to there and that pixel values there and that pixel values there for extension. And we can also fill zeros, all the zeros, fill zeros for, for any processing to keep the border pixel values. It depends, depends. Mostly we use duplication, just copy the pixel values there, copy the pixel values there, copy that one there. And also for, for uh, for we will let transform, a few years ago, some people invented uh, 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 some uh, extension method that's called uh, linear uh, symmetric. Linear symmetric means if this is a one, this is a two, just use a senior uh, interpolation, this is a two, one, should, should be few, zero, two, one, zero. And this minus one, one should feel two. Minus one, one, two. So it's uh, another method. But it depends what kind of uh, application you need uh, and uh, what uh, uh, methods you use. If you use uh, wavelet transform, because the wavelet transform, uh, if it's a, a linear and symmetric, it gives more zeros for the transformation. It's uh, better for uh, 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 image com compression or something. So that's it's why they use the linear extension, but linear symmetry. But so you can mostly we use uh, um, just uh, uh, duplication. Any more questions? Okay, we, we just talked about uh, uh, the filtering, and the example is just box filter all ones. And actually, for the mask can be anything. The, the, the values, the mask here is just all ones. Actually, they, if you use three by three, the numbers can be anything. And uh, the size is, is, is not necessarily just three by three, as can be five by five. And sometimes we use two by two, the uh, uh, even numbers, so columns or uh, rows. And mostly we just use odd numbers because we have a central pixel value. We use that, that central pixel value for the same to the multiply to the central pixel value. If you use an even number, which value do you replace in the filtered image? Just central. So if you have two by two. If two by two, it depends. Depends. So it's that's, that's, that's not to tell, it's a different, different. You should use uh, what pixel for what. That's why people use mostly use uh, odd numbers. Any more questions? Okay. This is the masks always we call that box filter. Actually, we can have a, by imagination we can have a 
something different numbers all positive, we can also put some numbers zero, and we can also put some something that's negative. It depends. Depends. Uh, um, you can use uh, uh, create some masks by by some imagination, by some uh, some uh, logical or non-logical uh, reasoning, and uh, and also we use. We use a uh, 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 frequency method uh, for each tra transform domain method to give the, uh, the masks. And, uh, uh, and also, sometimes we use a function and we use a small mask to approximate that function. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, how to find the masks. And for averaging, for averaging, the, the, the mask we just saw is a, is a box filter. Actually, it's a, uh, it can be something uh, different. It's not just one, one way. We can have something uh, higher in the middle and uh, bigger in the middle and uh, smaller, uh, a bit farther from the cen center pixel, like, like this. The kernel, or the filter, this is a box filter, we just saw that. And we can have some filter like this. The central pixel value gives higher widths. This diagonal pixels, four diagonal pixels, we give lower widths. And those, we consider, if we marry the distance between, the, between that pixel to the central pixel, this is a closer than that one. Closer distance, is, this, is a, this is a one. The square square root of two. So this one is uh, further. This one is uh, closer. So we give a higher weight to that. It's lower weight. So we just give weights, and then sum all the pixel values together. We have one sixteen, and we use one over sixteen multiplied to the mask. This is uh, uh, five mask. Can I ask why I use one over sixteen? This is why, why I use one over nine. It's the sum. Yes, sum of. Nine one, so one over nine. Yes. Okay. Why? Why, uh, why we use the sum of? That? This is the sum of the number. This is sum of the number. Right? Why do you say? Yes, that's that. That's the reason. Because we wish to apply the masks to the to to the pixel value sphere, mask to that. And if the dynamic range of the pixel values from zero to two five five, after the filtering, we wish all the pixel values still appearing between zero to two five five. And that one, if the mask is after after the sum. If it's bigger than one, we may have this pixel value is bigger than two five. If it's bigger than two five, the dynamic range is bigger. So we don't wish the dynamic range change. That's why we put the sum of the masks is uh, just one, just one. If it's just one, it does not change the dynamic range of the image. Okay, this is an average filter. Later we will see some more filters. This is a, this is a Gaussian filter. Gaussian filter is coming from the Gaussian function. This is a Gaussian function. And we can use some calculations to find the, the, the values for all the, all the uh, mask values. This is a three by three Gaussian filter. And also, some people use that one as the Gaussian. It depends depends on what kind of uh, applications you have. It doesn't matter because they are all averaging. Any questions?
Okay, here's a uh, uh, using box filter just e query at all the pixel values here. And this is the original image. You can see in this image we have letters, dots, bars, squares. And if we use three by three average in box filter, we have the re result of that. That five by five, nine by nine. This is, this is almost the same. This is uh, we can't tell the difference between them. And uh, but in in this one, we can see it's blurred. Blurred. Those those pixels are almost the same. Those is a bit a bit blurred, but this is uh, blurred even more. We we, we 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 can't see the dots there and the bars there is a bit uh, uh, blurred. And also the edges, edges of the boxes, edges of the letter, you can see it's uh, blurred. Oh. And also it's a 15 by 15, this is 35 by 35. You can even can even you can't see the bars clearly. And those letters is not readable right now. And you can see any uh, points or, or, or uh, the individual dots here. Any questions? OK. This is a looks like a defocus, the autofocus. And so for such a, a, a you know, for image processing, sometimes we wish to, uh, um, some researchers tell, I found a method to focus on something or to, 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 uh, to, to just uh, recover the blurred image. Those re researchers possibly use a very clear image and automatically or just apply some, some, some model that model is uh, like this, filter, filtering or, or averaging applied to that image and found the image like this, blurred. And then he applied his method to that image to find an uh, image look like that one or look like that one. Then they use their own. that one minus that one to find the difference and mean squared root uh, 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 error, mean square root error, and uh, sum them, divided by the number of pixels, and then give the results. It's the, uh, the difference between the, their result from that and this original image. That error is less, means his method is there too. This is for researchers. It's all. Uh, be done by simulation, you know, so for, for blurring model is a simulation, his method also simulation. Okay, just some uh, uh, results to tell you what uh, uh, it is. And here's the original image, and here's using Gaussian filter, and use 21 by 21 one mask, the big mask, and uh, the uh, uh, sigma of Gaussian, that Gaussian function is 3.5. Gaussian is used to, for the standard deviation of the Gaussian function. And the result you can see is a, a bit blurred. And also this one is uh, 43 by 43, and the sigma is 7. You can see it's, uh, it's more blurred than it, and it's very clear. Just uh, some results to tell you the difference between them. And using uh, averaging. What does it mean k equals 1 in the description? OK, k uh, is, is here. In the in the Gaussian function, in the Gaussian function, you can you can you can find that in in the textbook for the formula. I just give you, uh, if you wish to to, to give the function is uh, that in, to find it in the textbook. 
Any more questions? It's a just parameter for the Gaussian function. OK. Here's a border for this example to tell you the difference between the, uh, the, the uh, uh, different padding methods of so the border extension. This one is just give zero border extension. And here's mirror, mirror is symmetrically uh, copy <coughs> border pixelates, copy duplication. And rep uh, replicate is uh, so just uh, replicate like a mirror, uh, replicates copy this image here again. And the mirror is so just uh, one, two, three. So one, two, three. What's the difference? Can you see the difference between them? If it's mirror, uh, if it's zero padding, you can see the border is dark. Border is dark because it's, you, you feel the zero. And the inside should be bigger than zero. So you have the dark borders. They are similar because this is uh, all very similar to the border. And, and also, the results of that one is very similar to that one because of the, all the border pixel values is bright. Actually, this example is not a good example. If this side is dark, this side is bright, it would be uh, better for, for the example. And so just I uh, use the uh, images taken from the textbook. OK, any questions? Okay, here is uh, applications if we use average and what. Sometimes we use average in like this is original image, so average in after average we got something like this. And we can see the small dots. Small dots become darker. Small dots become darker, so brighter, bigger dots uh, becomes brighter. And if we use threshold, just convert some values above some values is so one, below some values is zero, so we may have a, a binary image like this, this binary image. And we can see that this actually can be used for mask, RF channel. Use that mask applied to the original image. What's that for? What's that for? They can take it as an extraction of the bigger objects. We just remove the smaller objects. And we, after that, we can keep the bigger objects, smaller objects, all the small objects we need. OK, this is uh, the, the relationship between correlation and uh, convolution. And uh, convolution and correlations are different. This is a correlation, this is a convolution. And here is the, uh, uh, the, the uh, template or uh, the kernel or uh, the mask. This is one dimensional. And here is uh, what it is actually, I just talked about if I symmetrically turn the, uh, turn the, the vector, it's the same as the uh, as, uh, the correlation, they are the same. But if they are not symmetric, uh, they, are, they are different. And you can see this is the original image, or original signal, one dimensional signal is uh, just one in the middle. All other values are zeros. And if I just put that from uh, beginning, uh, from left to right to multiply the pixel values together, we can 
Uh, and because there's no, no pixel value there, we use zero padding. Zero padding or, uh, or so called pixel value uh, extension, which I talked about in the order extension. And zero padding. And then multiply the pixel values to the pixel values. And we can have the result and multiply to, multiply to all of them zero. If I multiply to the uh, pixel values, I have a result here. This, uh, this uh, if I multiply to them, is zero. This result, and uh, multiply, shift one, move one, one more pixel, multiply eight to one. I have eight, and then move forward. Uh, so next two, and next four, next two, next one, multiply to them. I have eight. Two, four, one, zero, and finally, if I move to there, the multiply to zero, and zero, zero. This is the result, and here is the correlation. Does not change anything. Just put put mask there and multiply to the corresponding values. So one one definition. And here is uh, the convolution. It's called convolution. Convolution, if I use the same mask, convolute with the same signal, it's a convolution. We need to symmetrically turn that. And if I symmetrically turn that, it's, uh, it's uh, just reverse it to eight, first, two, four, four, two, two, one here, one here. So it's uh, just a turn. If they are symmetric, they are the same. If uh, they are not, just change that. And put that, to this, uh, the, this is after symmetrical turn. And then we can just multiply that as the correlation, the same. But you can see this is different. And the results uh, 0, 1, 2, 4, 2, 0, or 2, 8, 0. Use 0 padding. And if we extend the full is uh, zero, zero, and more zero is here. So one dimensional correlation and one dimensional uh, convolution. And if I use uh, uh, the um, 2D, uh, this is a mask. This is an uh, image. And if I can just add 0, or it's also symmetric, it's duplicate is the same. Put all the borders extension there. And then I use this mask, just put at uh, left layer. I have uh, the, the mask multiplied to the image here, corresponding pixel values. And then I have a zero. The first, first uh, block, three by three, I don't have any pixel values, no zeros, so I just put zero. And then move forward and multiply to the corresponding pixel values. And next, if I move this mask down, down to here, I can see it's nine multiplied to one, so I got nine here. And the next I just move down there from left to right, top to bottom, I have a result like this. It's a uh, uh, convoluted image. And if I just keep all the borders this, uh, like this. So you can see, so one, two, three, after the uh, correlations, so we have a, a result like, like this. Okay, the convolution. Convolution means I just symmetrically turn that, symmetrically flip, symmetrically left, right flip, up, down flip. And I have a, actually a mask like this and multiply the corresponding values to the image values there and I got to do that. So this is a, this is a Correlation. This is, uh, this is a convolution. This is a correlation. 
repetitive if they are not symmetric. Any questions? Okay, uh, I think so I should finish here. Uh, um, see you on Wednesday. I will be there.